So today, I want to outline what we know needs to happen to successfully reopen the economy and adjust to our new normal. Call it the new normal. What we will be seeking to do is find a new normal. At the same time, we need to prepare ourselves for a new normal. But it's going to be a while before things go back to normal. Welcome to a day in the post-lockdown world. going live. I can't do this shit anymore. Ready to go live. Fuck Trump and fuck these fucking people. At a certain point, man, I'm sick of all you fucking liberals and mainline you're a bunch of cowardly fucks. You're not Americans. Get behind me, Satan! Down with the devil! Down with the fraud! Get out of the road! Get behind me! You understand that? Get out of the road, New World Order. Get out of my mind. Get out of my free will. Get out of my way. So I'm tearing up this cease and desist order right here. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to do it God's way. We're going to do it God's way. God tells us how to worship him. Nobody else gets to do that. And if you don't like the First Amendment, leave. I'm crazy, folks. I'm red-blooded like my ancestors 10,000 years ago. Okay? I'm nothing special. I'm a man. That's it. That's all I am. You understand that? And when I get assaulted, and when the globalists are attacking me and my family, I show my teeth. I'm here. I got a life force. This is a human. This is what we look like. This is what we act like. This is what everybody was like before us. This is what I am. I'm a throwback. I'm here. I've got the fire of human liberty. I'm setting fires everywhere. And humans are turning on everywhere. That's destiny. That's will. That's striving. That's being a trailblazer and explore. Going into space. Mathematics. Quantum mechanics. The secrets of the universe. It's all there. Life is fiery with its beauty. It's incredible detail. Tuning into it. They want to shut your mind. Talking about Justin Bieber. It's pure evil. Only just begun. I'm glad you liked it. Oh my god, that was uh, you inspired that one this morning. <laughs> god tells us what to do, dude. <laughs> I gotta tell you, if you don't like war mode, you ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you're fucking me up with this uh, Vegas shooting thing. Man. I mean, that is the biggest fucking bullshit thing that's ever happened. Are we doing it? Yeah, Body? yeah, dude. I um, I found this PDF about like what the real. Yeah. Our real space timeline is, dude. It's saying we're a thousand years ahead. This is nuts, dude. What's they it have saying? it all. I mean, uh, it's too much. It's a giant. It's like one of their giant Q maps, but it's already plotted out till tw- two thousand one hundred. Holy and shit! And there's a whole bunch of shit. In twenty twenty eight, we're gonna do this program called Ad Astra to the stars, baby. Holy fuck! In twenty forty one, four chan saying that Palestine will completely take over Israel. Oh, that's just based on demographics. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Later. I keep my eye on that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that whole thing about that dude being an auditor for deep underground military bases and shit and how it's just like, it's disgusting how far ahead we are. It makes sense. I mean, I'm a lemmy. Yeah. Yeah. We're just turds. <laughs> <laughs> We're children of them. Uh, if you yeah. knew what was really going on. Yeah, I mean, you would just be like, "Oh, little guys, they don't know." There's, there's a washing propaganda. Yeah, there's a 100 percent way more out there, and we're just on, we're on planet fucking zero, dude. We're That's not even up there. Yeah, this is nuts, dude. I'm glad I could show you something. I'm gonna do research. Yeah. And I was that. What, what were you like? What's the deal with the dude Scarborough's? Uh, there's some kind of th- they covered up woman. a murder for him. I think. I know they yeah. covered the murder, but what's the deal with the daughter? The daughter. I don't know. Or about not that. the daughter, the fucking girl he killed. Oh, she's deep. No, I don't know about the girl he killed. No. I'm talking about the other girl on that show that he's Oh, on. Mika. Yeah. Her dad, her dad is, is like, like Brzezinski or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Big yeah. time deep state, Mockingbird Media. I saw. Dude. They're like, a, when, you know, that show's like the epitome of Mockingbird Media. Yeah, it's pretty fucking bad. I didn't like, they, that dude like joked about it and shit. Like, that is a fucked up guy. What do you mean? Like the dude Scarborough and stuff. Like, he was, I don't, I don't know if it happened before or after, like, hopefully before. 
But he's like, yeah, I'm going to become a representative and, uh, you know, kill an intern, all that. Yeah, I don't know anything about this stuff here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've read some stuff about him, the murder thing. Yeah. I remember the cover-up murder thing was on The Great Awakening. Yeah, that that's what I was, I don't know if I was watching Weekend Warrior or what, but they were going in on Biden and the, um, the 1994 crime bill that he's all about. Okay. And it's like, yeah, I mean, obviously. It made sense you, at the time to get votes. Yeah, but now, like, to sit there and, like, code switch to Charlemagne the God and shit, it's like, dude, you fucked so many people. Yeah. I'll, like, I mean, I'm 50,000 years too late this show, but I'm watching Narcos and shit now, and I'm just like, damn, dude. CIA literally just sells drugs. That's it. The CIA has been selling drugs in the United States for since the dawn of time. A ton of our money, a ton of the money that the United States has is drug money. It's, it, it's off the books. Why do you think we invaded Afghanistan? Why do you think we invaded, like, why to do kill the bad guys? What are you talking about? Though? To kill the bad the guys. The bad guys that grow the poppy fields? Yeah. Did you know that before 9-11, they were like, yeah, we're not making heroin anymore? They said that? Yeah. They cut their fields down, and America was like, well, we're going to bomb the living piss out of you. Oh, my God. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, we operate on drug money. Like, there's somebody, I can't remember what podcast I was listening to, but they were talking about what the real economy would look like if the IMF would acknowledge dark money. Is it disgusting? Like, the cash flow. Like, Apparently we were on the board, on the brink of bankruptcy right before nine eleven. Holy shit! That's where the missing twenty one trillion and all that bullshit. Yeah. It was basically like a cover up to reboot the economy legally to wash money. It's the same shit. Like I was saying this week on the phone to you, thirty eight billion to Israel. Yeah. And you're like, why are they doing that? They just give it right back to the politicians. That's insane. They law. They literally wash money through Israel. Yeah. And it's like old BB. Dude, and this is the white world. Yeah, yeah. We're not even talking not about dark this. Is, dark this is why I get pumped with, like, submarines are out in space. Yeah. And, like, dude, <laughs> you get into that, they're, like, you know, we're a thousand years, you know, a thousand year Reich and all that shit. I lose What's my that? marbles. You know, they say, like, the Nazis were into, like, space. They had, like, oh, three yeah. different spaceships. That's all that Majestic 12 shit you're talking about. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, yeah. this is all over everybody's heads, man. We're not even talking. We're not even making sense right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I, ju- I literally just, like, dipped my foot in this Majestic 12 shit. I try to look it up, but like it's so it's so hard to look anything up on the internet now. Like death counts. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those things, man. People will argue the numbers for years. Yep, I just don't. For under- years to come. I don't. I don't, I really don't understand how it's like. How could they not just be lying? Like they could say like, oh, there's all these deaths. Like where are we getting the hard death number as of right now? Like who is saying that the death toll is more? Probably than Probably medical examiners. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Really. Well, this is this isn't wartime. Yeah, these aren't camp victims. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I don't understand like how they can say like they could easily lie about this. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, but if you die, they couldn't really because it's like if you died. But if they're just saying the death numbers on the news, like they could be uh, inflating the death numbers on the news. Yeah, sure, I guess. But like somebody, would, and if you don't believe that, you ain't black. Somebody would say, <laughs> "Hold on a minute." You I think I mean? they do, and they sound, they're silencing everyone on fucking YouTube. Sure, I mean, I guess, dude, like, Cuomo, Cuomo is saying 30,000 New Yorkers are dead. Yeah. Nobody, I don't hear any, anything. It's hard, it's hard to speak out against them when you just get banned off fucking YouTube. I'm not saying on YouTube, I'm saying in general. Like, you, you know, the hospitals and stuff. That's the other thing. I was, like the, hospitals, <laughs> the hospitals will get money if they claim debt, if they yes. claim COVID deaths. Yes. Right. Yes. You're saying that they could make up complete fake deaths. Now that would have to go through lawyers. Oldest trick in the book, dude. That would have to go through lawyers. Well, you know, it's not now. It's 2020, and it's not a war. Yeah. And it's they would have to go through lawyers and go through a medical examiner. I yeah. I just don't know. The other thing I was I'm like I'm seriously trying to figure out how I could be right in this. And like you just dude, really want to be right. I be, I mean is, I've been right. Tough, more than it's I'm tough wrong. to watch. Yeah, I've been right more, I've been wrong, but, you know. They, they're they putting people, like, you're like, why is there so many deaths? They're making people go on ventilators that don't need to be on ventilators. Yeah, sure. Fucking them up. They're killing them. Yeah. They're actually dying. Yes, they're killing people. Yes. For 39 grand. Totally believe that. Yes. I, what I don't believe is that they can make up fake deaths. I think they, I want someone You know who, what I mean? Like, they, these are, you know. If you can make so it. so much people involved in a death. But it's they can make a fake like, person. It's kind of like you've never experienced a death. 
Yeah, I mean, I did, <laughs> but whatever. They can make a fake person up. That's what I understand. Like, you can make a fake person, fake passport, fake social, and live. That would get out. When? Like, that would get out. Like, now, that would be getting out now. There's a ton of people that want the numbers to be lower. Yes. So, they would be hunting down these statistics. They'd be hunting down the paper trail. We're trying to find them. Dude, I can't play this game with you, man. You just want to be right. I just, I just, the shit is not adding up to me at all. The shit on the COVID deaths doesn't add up, but the shit on the total deaths going up 5%. <clears throat> it's really just 5%. That's a lot in America because we have a lot of people. Yeah. But it's 5% more than it was two years ago. I yeah. don't understand why this is such a fight for you, man. A lot of people can't get the medical attention they need either. This is, I don't like having this conversation. I don't think anybody wants to listen to it. <laughs> I, I, like, I think you just really want to be right. I just don't think Corona is real, but it doesn't yeah. even matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, we, we can just keep living in a fallen state. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, bud. People are dying. People are sick. I can't wrap you, my head you around it. You don't, you know, you don't have to put a label on it. I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah. It's it's literally hurting my head. But, you know, I guess maybe you're right. I'm wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. I, can't, I literally like, can't. Like, uh, you're fucking all week long, dude. <laughs> I can't it's find. It's fucking nuts. I can't find numbers. That's my only problem. You can. You just don't like the ones Where? you're finding. Where? They're all over the internet, dude. Look at how many how many people died in Pennsylvania. Sixty nine. Yeah, you've done your research, man. How many people have died? Four thousand nine hundred. Uh, yeah, we had this conversation six thousand times. Yeah, shut this <laughs> off. Shut this off, dude. I don't want to do this. Shut it down, dude. Shut it down. It's whatever. We can talk about anything. This shit just pisses me off, man. Liberal. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, don't get triggered by me. I'm not triggered, dude. You're, You're just... totally triggered. <laughs> oh. What? What? I don't know. Dude, dude you got to shut it down. Why? I can't fucking do this. Oh, you beta. Back, you sound like it was fucking brutal. Yeah. The fact, the fact that you like went. Are you went... doing it now? Yeah, yeah. The fact that he went off on that was just bizarre. Like. I don't, was there any was, context? I don't know when that's from. That was just like a um, 4chan. That was on 4chan. That's just weird as shit. It's I like, was like, damn, Julia made it on 4chan. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird as shit because, like, obviously shit goes on. Like, there's pedophiles in Hollywood. Like, or Weinstein. Yeah. The, you know but what I mean? That's like, all he said. He was like, I mean, other than Weinstein, he goes, you named Spielberg and Will Smith, both pedophiles. I mean, there's no, there's no, the Will Smith stuff's hairy. It's hairy, but. He's, he's definitely into like dungeon playing. He's into like some that. weird yeah, shit. He's into some weird shit. He's not, he's not with God. No. Nah. But like naming Spielberg and shit like that. I didn't, yeah, I don't know what Dully is up to with that. I just know that um, there's enough, where there's enough smoke to be fire in Hollywood. I mean, you yeah. can't, you, you can't, can't sit, sit there and there. laugh at someone who says it and tell them to stand up. It's like, come on, dude. Yeah, the Pizzagate thing, if they could just say Pedogate. Yeah. And be like, okay, so you're going to act like pedophilia. There are no pedophilia rings. And yeah. And that only politicians in European countries would do that. Yeah. That's pretty much where people are comfortable over here saying that across the pond, all That's the MPs are fucking kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, but nah, not our, not our fucking Congress people. Especially somewhere like all the shit that went on with like, is Nickelodeon not considered Hollywood? Like yeah, everyone I mean, has Nickelodeon. Yeah. Is just I mean, dude, fucked. I got a fucking rabbit hole of the dude from Rick and Morty. So fuck that dude. What happened? Like now. what? Because I was weirded out when LeBron James did that Dish or Direct TV commercial. Like play Rick and Morty. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. There's something wrong with Rick and Morty. Yeah, Damn Dan Har- Dan Harmon, the guy that made Rick and Morty, had some weird video. Where he was like fucking a baby. And then what? Yeah, you like a, a doll. Cartoon? Like a doll. Oh wow. Well, and then. The people started like looking for symbols and shit like that, and there's just like all over. I don't know about all over. It's just Sam Hyde came out and said that he's a pedophile. Oh, are you serious? You know, like, he's pissed off. He got pissed off because he got fired from their station or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But he said like there's a bathroom and there's just nothing but like little boy porn on the door. You know how like you'd put like porn on a door? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like little boy stuff. I, every time I demoed any sort of place where there yeah. were squatters, there was just porn taped to the walls. Yeah, I, don't know I mean, there was porn that. taped to the walls in my dad's, um, not porn porn, but like yeah, just hot car, chicks. car girls, yeah. motorcycle girls. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd, go, I'd sneak in the bathroom and look at it, and my dad would be like, what are you doing, man? They were like, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that, that shit is fucking bising, though. And, and, like that's that's my thing with like anyone who's coming out at this point it's just like dude you you've done something what do you mean like if you're coming out like shitting on any sort of like pedophilia in hollywood or like any of that shit like you're just guilty yeah it sucks to like it sucks to go down a pedo rabbit hole on memorial day but it happens bro yeah you know what i mean it's like what are these guys dying for in other countries they're having wars to go fund Wall Street guys with liquid li- liquidity. Yeah. They pump liquidity in the market. Yeah. So they're like, oh, okay, let's go get some heroin real quick. We need some cash. Oh, we need some coke. Like, when they decided, when the CIA decided to start getting involved in, like, coke, they were bringing in, like, hundreds of more tons a year oh out of nowhere. God. It was, like, went from, That's like, just printing money. Like, you don't need money. to print money to print money. You just need coke or heroin. Yes. <laughs> and the... Uh, I mean, dude, I don't know if you ever got into the rabbit hole of how all of the Ivy Leagues are the original guys that fought the Opium Wars. What? Yeah, dude. Really? What is that? Well, Yale and Harvard and all those guys, you know, they got wrapped up in the Opium Wars. Wait, oh, we're talking like, like... early 1900s? Older than this, dude. Jesus Christ. O- olden days where they fucked China over. You know they, too much. <laughs> they, I, dude, I'm just watching podcasts. But, um, what podcast is this on? One of the tinfoil hats. Fuck. But uh, that never stopped. So Fuck they've no. been always just doing opium deals and all this shit. And it's like a, a part of our economy, definitely. Yeah, that's like – that's a weird thing about watching Narcos is like seeing how like back then it was just the communists and then it's the Taliban. And like they just keep on switching some stupid-ass bad Well, they guy. come up with – that. this is where I'm saying like the CIA – so the CIA does this. This isn't like – the senators aren't sitting there. Yeah. The senators are all owned. Yeah. By lobbyists yeah. and by compromising. Yeah. So there goes your dreams of, I love him. He's so great. <laughs> you know, bye-bye. Except Shiva when he runs. He's true. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so the CIA, they, their money comes from their money comes from the drug trade. Yeah. And then they use the, their media wing to spin up a story about why we got to mail 18-year-olds to Afghanistan. Yeah. And they knew 9-11 was going to happen. Uh-huh. We're still over there. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we're still stop. fucking... It's insane. There's so much evidence. And... me, But in the meantime, people will just, like, turn it the fuck off. Yeah. Well, that's you know? the thing that, This like, is why Tulsi Gabbard can't run. This is why they say she's a Russian asset. Why? Oh, she doesn't want to because fight she says wars. let's let's pull the um let's pull everybody out yeah. of the that area of the world. Well, if we do that, all of Wall Street and all the rich people will lose all their money. That is insanity. Because that's drug money. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, not like this shit is, especially like when you start arguing with people. That there's are, no Islamic. There's no yeah. It's natural such a joke. Islamic dudes being like, we hate Americans' freedom. Yeah. <laughs> we hate that they get to drink beer and have Memorial Day. They wouldn't even know America existed no, if it wasn't dude, for I don't us know one them. fucking holiday that yeah. other people have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think some dude in other countries are going, what the fuck are they talking about Memorial Day? They don't even know what Memorial Day is. I don't is, know what dude. goes on in Canada. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, Some dude the in a fact mud that people hut are like, hates oh, my man, freedom. They hate our freedom. <laughs> you it's like, cock. bro, <laughs> that's not it. Yeah, I, I've never actually thought about that. That is insanity. But Especially you just if you're turn just living the in a desert. You turn on the tube and you're like, okay, cool, fuck them. Yeah. You know? Jesus. Freedom fries. Obviously. Freedom vanilla. Hilarious. My uncle yeah. had a shirt when all that shit started <laughs> coming out. Yeah, I mean, like, all like that's what I don't understand. The people who sit there and go, oh, like, you're, you're paranoid. Like, the government wouldn't do this. Like, if the government actively brings drugs into the country... They'll do anything to you. They'll kill anyone. They don't care. They're crazy. Yeah, we're just a bunch of corporations. Like America is more or less like a place where people come to make money. All, pretty much on all scales. Yeah. Like we don't have like a deep culture. We don't no. have like a history. 
I mean, we do, but it's like either they try to pull the melting pot bullshit. Yeah. And then they try to like reframe the fucking um, genocide of the Native Americans. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it, for whatever whatever narrative works for the country at the time. Yeah. They just keep spinning it. Yeah, that's also hilarious. Like that, we're reading on cobblestones from the 1700s, and it's like 300 years old. It's not that old compared to like everything else. Yeah, you go over to they, those guys have been like herding goats in Uzbekistan for fucking <laughs> 700 years. It's nothing. Yeah, dude. And then out of nowhere, fucking fortunate sun place. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, oh shit, I guess we got to grow more opium this year. Yeah, yeah. That that must be such a mind fuck to just be minding your own business and then just get blown off the face of the map by pretty much a lightning strike from God. Yeah, man. They think that uh, they try to control. They're trying to control that part of the world, and then they're also trying to control Africa right now. So they're sp- they're spread pretty thin on soldier on uh like on being allowed to do that and on the m- propaganda that lets people do that. Yeah, you the internet's I mean? fucking them. The internet is fucking up their game because think about when all you had to do is control four stations, five stations. Okay, yeah. cool, we got this. It's 1974. We go up to the church commission and say, oh, dude, we don't do that anymore. We tried it. It didn't work. Yeah. Close the book on that. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, there's no more Mockingbird Media. Fast forward like 10 years. There's 30 channels. Yeah. So they were juggling 30 channels. They're like, we're good. Another 10, 15 years. It's 100 and something channels. It's like yeah. that whole time period of direct TV. Then now it's the internet. They're sitting there. And none of that other shit went away. So they still have to put out like a Dan Rather, Tom Brokaw, dude. <laughs> Morning Joe. Yeah, they got to put out Morning Joe. But then they also got to have Tucker. Then they yeah. also got to have this dude. And it's like it never fucking ends. They can't keep up with it. Yeah. You got these like little 4chaners. That just goes blowing into the up their shoot shit, comments. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, wait a second. What's bitch shoot? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. The, the levels, at, like the speed at what shit is getting debunked now is insane. And like you can kind of tell that it's just like. People like Joe Biden or like any old politician that's like, all right, we'll, we'll just use that trick that we used back in 88 and it just gets blown off the face if, of the map. If you can work on having the flexibility in your head to not be attached to any of the air quotes facts yeah. that you learned in school, if yeah. you can just kind of detach from it and go, well, I wonder if that makes sense. And then if you can kind of like, then you're pilling yourself on the internet and then you sit there and look at all the shit and go, well, that fits into this, and you like can create, you can reframe the world. Yeah. And once you do it, you're like, it's narcos. Yeah. We are just the U.S. is literally just. I didn't ever see the show, but from what you were telling me. Yeah, I mean, like it's you, just, just, like, you that know about Paul Escobar, yeah, like yeah. the go, like it just they get they don't fuck with you, like they knew about it. it was like yeah, fuck it, like he's not bothering us, like just let him sell drugs. Dude, they have planes, where the. Forest, the like we have like a forestry section of the government. What's that mean? You know, for forestry. Oh, oh like yeah. Like in the parks and shit. Yeah, yeah. They ordered up like a ton of planes that could carry like I guess water to put out forest fires and stuff yeah. like this. Gave them all to the CIA. They were found in Mexico City with a billion dollars of coke. They were found in fucking Central America. They were found in huh. uh, South America. Like we were doing bad boy stuff in the eighties. And all you have to say is I'm undercover. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and it, it was it was that that uh you know the Mena Arkansas type shit with Bill Clinton. Yeah, it wasn't just Bill Clinton. I mean, obviously that was a huge deal. He yeah. they made him president, but that was going on all over. That was L.A. and Miami. Yeah, Florida, Louisiana, all over the fucking coast. Yeah, dude. So that coke got funneled through two major cities. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the, the shit that, like, just just because I never even looked into any of this shit. Like, I was just, I'm so jammed up on other things. Like, I start looking at, like, how all, like, the drugs came in and shit like that. It's like, yeah, I mean, literally thousands, millions of people died because of the government. Yeah. They'll, they'll do it they don't at, fuck. at will. They'll kill anyone. They'll, have, they they'll put on a crack epidemic to make cash. Yeah. that's They yeah. ruined every city on the eastern seaboard. Yes. They ruined every, every industrialized city at the time got destroyed. So that a few dudes on Wall Street could go buy houses in Westchester, New York, and the Hamptons. <laughs> that's for real. Like, that's it. That is bizarre. Yep. Dude. Yeah, I mean. That- they make out. The Wall Street firms make out. And then that's like a trickle-down economic with them. Yeah. And then anyone that's related to the government makes out. And they get nice, cushy little spots in the country like Idaho and shit. And they have their little farm. 
and they know that about they know all about the white world. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they they chill. They're in dark land, big time. The the black world, they don't want to know anything about. Yeah, that like all. You know, there there's dudes that probably reach a level of clearance where they're like, I don't even want to know about the uh, underground military bases, bro. Yeah. I'll just deal cocaine for you. Yeah. That's like that. If you, it's very easy to think that like we're definitely way further ahead than we are. I get so fucking jazzed up on this stuff, dude, because every it's, time it's you watch like true. one of those German Nazi things, they had like almost spaceships. They were building them, building them off of the Vimana yeah. um, blueprints, like in the, uh, what is that? Bagavita? Bagavita. Yeah. Baga Gavita. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they. Um, fucking, what's that guy's name? Her, um, Krishna. Yeah, but what's the dude from the London Real movie? The From the punk band. It's in the fucking Baca Cavita. Oh, oh, what I the hell is that? Is it Henry? It's, not Henry Lo- it's not Henry Rollins. You're Fuck. talking about the Iron Man, London yeah. Real? <laughs> yeah. Dude, did you see London Real had like a mental breakdown? No, why? Yeah, dude, Brian Rose had like a fucking fit on the internet. He told all, he called all of his uh, followers losers. Why? Shit. Dude, they blew up his spot. Holy they shit. They saw that he was just taking all that Ike money. Dude, he's trying to help people. <laughs> he took all that Ike money and chilled. I didn't know he fucking read like that. Oh, he read and then he deleted it, yeah. Jesus. How can you be that mentally unstable, dude? Right, it's too much money, dude. It's too much money. Yeah, I mean, just chill out. Like, that dude could have just chilled, like, nah, I'm just not doing that. Yeah, you got all the money. People were calling him out on it. He read the comments. He read the comment. He got in the comments, started commenting back, dude. Dude, if you gave me $3 million, people could be putting my social every day on the internet, telling everyone where I live. I don't care. I'm never commenting back. Yeah, but, um,. What was that band? Fuck. Uh, you Henry talking? Rollins. I'll find not Henry her. Rollins. I know it's not Henry Rollins, but it is Henry Rollins. <laughs> it's not, dude. <laughs> I know it's not, but it is. Oh, he's on fucking Rogan. What is his name? <laughs> that is going to piss me off because he's so brutal. Uh, I, I keep, like, I'm, I want to type Henry Rollins into my fucking phone right now. You do uh, Brian Rose Iron Man, it should come up. Brian Rose Iron Man. What is this? Oh, the, the Ken- oh, is he from Dead Kennedys? No. Nope. He's from the Dead Kennedys. Yes, he is. I don't think so. Yes, he is. That's not the band, dude. If you say it, I'll remember it. <laughs> Hold on. All right, Brian Rose, where are you, you fucker? That's, yeah, I'm a fucking vegan. <laughs> where is this guy, dude? I was ready to watch like that. Yeah, this is going to be a sick movie. And then that dude popped up. I was like, motherfucker. What is his fucking name? Brian Rose, Iron Man. Can, dude, I'm looking at him right now. Like, what is that guy's name? Oh, I don't know. Henry I'm not, Rollins. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big like uh, rock dude. Oh, uh, he had Rogan had him on. Dude, I can't figure it out. I like yeah, I fuck. Well, why'd you bring him up anyway? Let's keep talking. From the Crow Max. He's from the Crow Max. Yeah. What is what is his name? I don't know what his name is. Fuck, but you know his name. The Hold dude on. from the Crow Max is all you've been calling him. Uh, yeah, dude from the Chromex. What the fuck? John, jo- yeah, it's John Joseph McGowan. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who that is. Fuck that band, dude. That shit's so <laughs> brutal. Yeah, but uh, why were we talking about that? Uh, Brian Rhodes freaking out. But before that, I fucking forget. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that that shit is uh, that isn't. If you're making that much money, dude, just chill. Like, I don't understand why anyone reads at that point. Yeah, he's fast. <laughs> Hold on one second. The, in the Barrio de Vida, there are spaceships. Really? And the, yeah, there's spaceships, and they there's intergalactic uh, or interplanetary wars that happened eight million years ago when we were just like monkeys, and then they came from the heavens and altered our genes. This, this is, is their religion. This is the Vedic religion. So the that's what, why. What is it called? The Vedic religions. I this thought... is where you get yoga from. Really? Yeah. From aliens. Pretty much. What? Yeah, dude. I did not know this. What are they saying the Bible? Yeah, Krishna is like blue, dude. <laughs> I just thought he's like in. I, I thought I legitimately thought it was like Indian shit. It's Indian shit, yeah. Oh, is it? I mean, it's their. It's one of their religions, yeah. And they're just all about veganism. But their so? Bible is like science fiction. It's wild. It's like <laughs> the, their Bible is like eight million years ago. There was space. There was a nuclear war. Is and then there's, they a found a while evidence. ago, or is it like, oh, like yeah. you know, like the Mormon thing, like kind of got written in the uh, 1800s? No, this is older than that, but I don't know if it's been changed or anything. Oh, yeah. But anyway, the Nazis were building like 
cool almost spaceships that could like you know they're, yeah they're trying and then there's a there's a conspiracy theory that you know the nazis just came over to america in operation paperclip and we just have all that shit we Definitely. have all that technology that's a thousand years beyond us and yeah. we can go to the stars and we will be interstellar and they have it all planned out and i saw that pdf before we started the cast blowing my mind because i'm like is this real <laughs> what was it yeah because i mean it would make sense if they could go if you could go past here and you're a bunch of rich people who are all controlling like you have to have high clearance to be in like the whole space shit you know what i mean so if these people go we can make a fuck ton of money because there's like there's a ton of like resources in space yeah i guess like minerals and shit like that i don't know man it gets so far it gets so far-fetched it's like it's hard to you would have to think that we're such sheep like yeah, you there, you we're have to, fucked. We're you, our lemmings. Yeah, you're, you're lemmings, dude. Like at that point, you're, we're we might as well be living in a simulation that they're carrying out. Yeah, because we're so programmed. Yes, I but mean, that, you know the predictive programming stuff. That's fucking scary. Like that Contagion movie. That's, that's just programming. That's bad. Yeah. yeah, I. This shit just jam- like I don't understand how people like uh, that are like your uh, mother or whatever are so jammed up. I mean, you can't like, what is that called? Cognitive dissonance where you can't just like back up and look at it. Like, all right, uh, maybe this is fucking weird. Like that. People, it's very dangerous to be that brainwashed by the media. Yeah. They would say that you're just as brainwashed by Jones, but they don't listen to anything. Also Jones is, if you th- listen to that intro and didn't laugh at all, you're not human. It's the He's, height of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, f- it sets me off so bad when people like all the geniuses. Well, a couple on years the- ago, I tried. My mom was flipping out. I tried to show her. I was like, "This was like before Trump won." Yeah. I was like, "Alex Jones." Like I was like, "Check this out." I was like, "Alex Jones is the funniest thing on the internet." Right yeah. Now. And she was like, "I can't listen to that." Don't you- don't you don't really listen to that, do you? I was like, every day. That, yeah. <laughs> That's what I don't get. Like people can watch like How I Met Your Mother, Big Bang Theory, and they're not crazy. Like, dude, Jones makes me cry. Oh, and yeah. I love it. Like, it's very funny. Some of the shit he says is true. But, like, for the most part, it's just funny. Like, if you can't listen to that and laugh, like, you might be the dumb one. And it's cool, man. I mean, I like thinking about our ancestors and our Earth suits. Yeah, that shit pumps yeah, me up. I love that shit. The fact that fr- I don't understand how Freeze gets so bent out of shape when we start saying, like. He's triggered by God. There's generations of people that have been abused by religion, you know. Yeah, but to sit here and think that, like, you die and that's it. Like the the density shit makes the most sense to me. Yeah, it's like the a cold weird world. feelings you get and shit. It's a cold world you're living in. Once you want to, when you uh, settle down and you're like, you limit yourself to this is it. It's kind of like, hey man, really? Yeah. This is all you got. This is all you can imagine. Why can there's all these like philosophical arguments like why can you imagine things then? Yeah. Why can you imagine that there's a life after death. Yeah. If there isn't the possibility of it, like a lot, you you have to throw out so much science. Yeah. This is the shit that I was telling you before this week, like saying like panpsychism, a lot of people hate it. And that's like objects have consciousness. Yeah. That's a real, like, there's no evidence of it. Yeah. But it's kind of cock to think that like only we have consciousness. But didn't you say that like back in the day, like when he was coming up, that was like the cool guy thing. What do you mean? Like you get snizz or you're just like, yeah, this is it. Like you just like cool guy, this whole thing. And yeah, nihil- that nihilism is a cool guy thing. I don't. Yeah. That's what like when we're Being arguing. a cool with- atheist. The atheism. The new atheists came out like Hitchens. Yeah. And like Sam Harris was really young. Yeah. So like Dawkins and all those dudes, they hate God. <laughs> I mean, I under I understand like if you don't want to believe in like the big white guy with the beard and Jesus and all shit makes sense. But like when we're asking Freeze. All right, so something created this. And he goes, well, something created that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know, yeah. It, it goes on forever. That's what when Ike says a shit like, this is limitless. Like, it literally is infinity. Yeah. But at some point, I get jammed when I'm sitting there thinking, like, something made this. And that's uh, like, you go through that whole thing, you're like, fuck. Well, if you think about it, it's just you eight octaves up. Dude. That's yes. what I'm saying. Like, you created you eight octaves up. Yeah. I created me eight octaves up. But at some point on the sixth one, we were the same. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's like, how can you not we're get We're just the that same shit? person. Just like a couple thousand years from now, me and you are just the same person. 
Yeah, and I mean, we're, we're like zooming saying. back in on ourselves right now, laughing our asses off. That's bizarre, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't gotten the densities, do that shit because all all that shit it makes like when I after I watch that, I was like, all right, this is sick. Like, I was more pumped about life after watching the density stuff. This is what I get. This is why I get mad about. Um, I just don't understand why people can't just use thoughts and thought games as skill sets to get through life. Yeah, you have to like survive. So getting food, staying warm enough, stay, not getting too cold. Yeah. All these things, these are hard things to do, and they're hard things to manage, and anything that'll help you get through these things, man. Exactly. That's what religion, basically, like, they, people got too, people were too, like, programmed by, like, school and the black and white thinking yeah. type stuff, where they were getting, they were hearing stuff from priests, and they were like, this is wrong, so they throw the whole thing out. Yeah. And that's why I was talking a while ago about how, like, it can't be wrong, because we built the cathedrals. Yeah, like and it took 300 years. And it's been around that long. Yeah, like you like whatever the fuck the people that built the pyramids were doing, that was right for a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you could say like it's not things aren't right. Like right and wrong is relative if you want to start thinking about that stuff, but it's not relative like in a lifetime. Yeah, and all that shit kind of like converges too once you like like pan out and look at all the religions, like all the shit. There's something going on because it's all like intertwined into when each other. When you keep hearing the same myth over and over again, yeah, you yeah. gotta go. Okay, something's up with that one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating to work with a guy who's a complete atheist who's like kind of smiles like you idiots. Yeah. And it's like, dude, we. He is, he's assuming that you believe in, like, get on your knees and do the Nicene Creed. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, yo, man, you're I'm, I'm beyond you. Yeah, you exactly. Know? That That's what I'm saying. Like, when you're sitting there and, like, you see a – like, he was, like, a little kid when we were there. And he was like, ah, look at these pictures. They're so dumb. It's like, dude, you can enjoy, like, religious art. Like, it's cool. Like, yeah. you can't – you don't have to, like, cool guy about I mean, it. it's cooler than, like, the fucking modern art. Yeah, I mean, that shit is atrocious, dude. Well, just to sit there and be like – you know the effort and the thought that goes into that. Yeah, it was insanity. Yeah. Compared to like like all that, there's so much of that shit online now where it's just like these assholes who just like throw paint at shit, paint yeah, it upside down, and yeah. flip it back. Like, what is that? They're just tricks. Yeah, yeah but like, why do pe- like they they shouldn't be worth anything? That's the state of society right now. We don't really invest in things that me- have any meaning. There's no val. We don't live value based lives. Yeah, I mean, this is why, you know. Well, that, that's just how they win, dude. This is how uh, they win. Yeah, we gotta chill with that. <laughs> that that's what's like evident when you were talking about, um, like how in like Sweden and all that shit, like they build houses for generations. Oh yeah, that shit's fucking cool. Like now, like all these houses are trash, dude. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're just stepping stones to live in a world where it's like, how much credit can I have? What kind of li- people are all really only thinking about like. In the next ten years, the next twenty years. Yeah, that's all. That's all they can really grasp their wrap their heads around. I have I have that argument constantly with anyone my age. It's just like, oh, like you should do this. Like you, like what are you doing? It's not just people your age. It's pretty much everyone that's alive right now. In the oh United yeah, States. I'm saying like yeah. only pe- people I talk to that they're just like, yeah, like you should go on a trip. It's like, why wouldn't you want to fucking try to level up rather than go to whatever fucking crystal clear beach i mean ultimate leveling up is like grabbing a bunch of like-minded people that have the same values getting land creating generational houses and sustainable farming that's good and defending it yeah this is how you start a country yes so it's like this is why and and that's such a powerful thing to do and it's it's evident in their construction all granite all marble yeah you know what i mean it's like People laugh at it. They go, "Oh man, nobody, no, we don't do that anymore." And nobody says, nobody asks themselves why. Yeah. And it's like slow down a little bit. On I want, I want, I need. It's like, dude, yeah. you, you're not as important as you think. That's what I like. That's why I try to tell people, like, I'd rather like set up my grandkids and be able to go to fucking Cabo for a week, dude. Yeah. Or like just build build something with purpose rather than have a bunch of pictures on Instagram that's probably gonna implode. Yeah, but, uh, you know, the thing that people will argue against is, like, you would just be adopting someone else's values. What's you know what I mean? mean? Like, like you if you, come to the, if you come to this realization on your own, yeah, that's amazing. That's cool. Yeah. If you are if you grow up in this and you're forced to live the life that we're talking about, yeah. they, they view that as oppression. 
and they that you should be free to do what you want and have fun. This is destruction of the family. <laughs> Why the fuck? Like, like I, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's, hey man, we don't hate anybody. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it always circles back, dude. <laughs> there's a, you know, when you get into this stuff, you realize that there's people that, there's people that have an understanding of this stuff. Yeah. And then there's people that don't. Mm. Or that they they don't want to live though they they live for themselves and that's the service to self or service to others yeah the negative you want to li- you want to live in service to others yeah overall I've, like you definitely have serv- service to self yeah stuff. but like you know you should th- you should be thinking about how can I level up how can I level up everyone around me when yeah. you start expanding this dude it's like yo how much is land in Canada dude you <laughs> might be able to <laughs> you might be able to get a bunch of stone up there build yeah. a castle yeah I mean. The fact that pe- uh, people, all the weird, like, cutthroat shit, are, like, because a lot of the kids I know now, like, they're looking up to, like, these dudes who are, like, real estate beasts who, like, fuck people over, and it's just like, yeah, well, that's what you got to do. Well, that real estate bubble, all of that stuff is dependent on Wall Street, which is dependent on drug money, yeah. which is dependent on our, our soldier boys, dude. Yeah, <laughs> our soldier boy tell them. <laughs> yeah, dude, they love oil. <laughs> yeah, that, the shit you were telling me about earlier, or, like, early in the week with, like, People are just buying loans and they're it's, selling loans. It's yeah. not, it literally is not looking good. Like for once, once you, once you start separating it, you're like, wait, I'm just buying a loan. I'm not buying a truck. Yeah. No one's paying off houses. Yeah. Nobody's paying off house. No, nobody's the real value of the house is just never there. Yeah. It's all speculation. So when you hit speculation, when you see the speculation that clearly, yeah, it's time to turn it down a notch. Maybe houses aren't 600 grand guys. They, that's what I'm looking at houses like I'm inside houses that are 600 grand and they're falling apart. Like my one buddy bought one and they didn't give him a filter for his HVAC unit. They were just running the HVAC unit in a dusty closet. Yeah. You know, like, they're probably building like six fucked. houses. Yeah. And it's all like those dudes from like that body's a unit too. That kills it. <laughs> I, I rolled in there. I was like, yo, like, like, cause all, most of these people that roll in there, like they've never seen a house. Like, it's their first house ever buying. They're making, crazy money for some random ass job and it's like yeah this is just what it is because like if you look at it, it looks normal and then like once you start like looking around the house you're like holy fuck like these dudes cut every fucking corner in like imaginable yeah they get away with it and people are dumb nobody looks into anything they think that if they spend a lot of money on it it must be better yeah if they put floating steps in it it's the best house ever created <laughs> yeah well they were cool for a while man when they first came out everyone was yeah like, they were how sick is that? cool now yeah. it's just like some like jerk off kid who figured out how to weld with a mig or like a tig welder that's all they do it's the only thing they do and then it's like oh well i can build steps so i'm not really a welder i'm a, I'm an artist and like these kids are the biggest jerk offs ever created yeah they there's um you gotta get that no nah. There's a the the bigger the bigger thing would be to learn to to sit there and figure out what you want to do. It's like you're saying, some people only think there's just this life. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do with it? Yeah. And if you're if you do all the hard thinking, man, then you come down to, well, how much is a trip to Cabo? Yeah. Hey, a trip dude, with zero benefits at all. Well, suppose. We should be valuing that person less than we value other people that want to yeah. that want to contribute to society. This is where the whole party boy lifestyle type stuff is like, be free to go do it, yeah. but we shouldn't be promoting it. Yeah, and telling you, know you it's I mean? okay when you come back. You're like, well, I had to go to rehab for five years, and like, hey, we're gonna clap for you because you got a job at Whole Foods now, the butcher section. Way to go, you're better than everyone. Yes, yeah, everyone will get very upset when you start like saying like, you know. There's certain values that you shouldn't be promoting. Yeah. But there's a reason for that. It's because it doesn't move society forward past the one generation. Yeah. So multi generational values are like Well th- that's why and, and it's tough because you have to raise someone. Yes. You have to ha- have a kid and then raise them and teach them all the values without having them re on them and push away. Yeah. And be like, No, dude, you don't understand. This shit makes sense. So, yeah. like, you'd have to come up with stories to teach kids. Yes. And, like, this is what I'm trying to – this is my overall thing in life right now is, like, the folklore, they got – they scrubbed it. Yeah. They propagand. they took it all away and fed kids Disney movies. Yeah. And we used to have, like – as people, we used to have, like, passed down 
stuff and yeah. like that got us to where we wa- we where we are if you want to destroy that one real quick way to do that Disney is to movies. turn kids on parents yeah oh, yeah dude. and that's what they do i think that's why i am the way i am because obviously i only watched godzilla growing up <laughs> <laughs> rp godzilla it was godzilla versus megalodon i fucking cried i got you it was either whatever the robotic godzilla was i fucking cried to leave the room because i was crying because godzilla died <laughs> yeah but that a lot of people, they no one thinks like that multi generational shit because like I'll someone will do a fucked up thing like one of my friends will like fuck a married girl or whatever. I'm like, yo, dude, like you're not just fucking that family up. You're gonna be fucking your family up because you're gonna be known as a scumbag. Yeah. Like you gotta think if you want to have kids, uh, if you want to live the bullshit lifestyle, do whatever you want. I'm not into it. I'm kind of like like the families and cool shit like that. I don't know. It's just me. But if you want to go do that. You're fucking your kids. You're fucking your family. Like, there's dudes now, like, where, where I'm at work, and, like, yes, well, who's that guy? He's a fucking dickhead. Because something he did in 1982. So you got to think long term. Like, you can't just be going around fucking in a girl because it feels good, even though she's married, doesn't matter. And then make it okay in your head saying, oh, well, the dude's an idiot. Like, none of that shit makes sense. No. That, the Bolshevik stuff is... Like, when they took over the factories in the Soviet Union, they had a five-year plan, and they never figured out how to get them to work. So they ended up calling the Americans the capitalists. Yeah. So the communists were like, yo, we come up with a five-year plan. Can you guys just help us, though? Yeah. We're having a hard time. Like, we're doing really good. Because they killed everybody that knew how to do the shit. But the shit is, you know, they, they project that they're so smart. Yeah. That they think craftsman type work, anyone could do it. Yeah. They think manual labor and working with your hands is nothing. Yeah. And it's like that shit was passed down from generations. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. So that's how we got here with all this technology. Like, the, you know, before we hit the computer age, all of our technology was like smithing. Yeah. And that's why, like, like fucking with metals. Yeah. So it's like, you know, the Bolsheviks take over the Soviet Union, ice everybody that knows what's going on. Mass genocide. They're staring at these factories. That's another psyop, man. I don't want to, dude, I, you know, well, I don't want to get. the page. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to get too lost in the woods, but I'm saying, like, they psyoped everybody in the, ru- thinking that Russia was, like, horsebacks and swords. Yeah. They were right up there with, they made cars. Yeah. They had factories, dude. And they don't teach you that in school. They teach you that they had horses and swords. Yeah. They and they had guns up. and cars and planes. Yeah. So when the Bolsheviks came in, they were like, they iced everybody. That's their MO. Ice everybody that has a Any job. Any dissenters, yeah. Anybody that has a job. And then they take all these fucking, like, overeducated retards. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you guys, you guys should be good now. They can't <laughs> figure it out. They called up the Americans, and they were like, yo, f- help bail us out. Second five-year plan comes around. They just go back to the Americans again. They still couldn't figure it out. Yeah. So once you kill a, all the people that pass down the knowledge, yeah, we're in no man's land. Yeah. Like we're we're basically the Soviet. The whole world right now that like exists in Western media is basically in the Soviet Union, in a way. Yeah. Because we ended all of our folklore. Yeah, yeah. And there is a lot of value, like our human mind. We created stories that kind of like made that were truths, mm. and we got rid of them. And now we're watching Disney movies and we're watching Marvel movies. Yeah. And anything that rings true at all, people get excited about. Yep. And you can talk about it and expand on it and talk about psychology and all that yeah. cool shit. But at the end of the day, we were, we were probably better off getting that shit kind of like peppered in, hardwired before we were even like eight, and yeah. then going out in the world and like you wouldn't rebel that hard. Obviously, yeah. you would, because you'd be like, my, fuck, my, my dad's old, he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't, like, throw away your entire culture, go down to Cabo, and yeah. get herpes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that shit's... Ha- I saw, like, all that shit on 4chan with, like, um, what sweet... Or is it 4chan or YouTube, maybe? Like, what sweet... And, like, there are, like, all this, like, progressive ideals, and now it's just, like, a war zone. Like, they wanted to bring in refugees for all this stuff, like, push multiculturalism, all that shit, and, like... It just isn't mm, working. They're out. not equal. No, like cultures aren't equal. Man. Like chicks are getting raped and killed. Yeah, like if you win, if one culture beats out another one for ideas, they're they're they they're not equal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like if an idea wins, and it comes from a culture, the culture that created that idea, 
is probably better. People, as soon as you say that shit, people are like, you're racist. <laughs> yeah. But it's fucking true, man. It's, it's like, it you is. got a bunch of fucking dudes that are programming hard as fuck in one country. Yeah. And then their shit works so good, you just kind of bow to it. You're like, oh shit, let's just do what they're doing. Yeah. They were better. Yeah. It doesn't mean that anything on the individual level it doesn't mean that you're, that, you that individual is better, but yeah. the culture as a whole yeah. works better in our world. Yeah, I mean, the the, all this shit that they fucking say, dude, is is it, it only makes sense in a philosophical Bullshit, conversation yeah. outside of the real world consequences. Yeah. As soon as you enter like the real world, dude, it's just who won and, you know, who can who's doing better. Yeah. You see it. I, yeah, I see it all the time. Just like dealing with like people I know and like who aren't in the real world. Like they're like loaded, all this stuff and they can't. They, they wouldn't survive if it wasn't for normal people who are like, oh, well, this is why this is fucked up, and they fix it. Yep. And they just sit there and profit off you and like, yeah, you're an idiot. It's yeah, like, and, then, you and are, like, to burst dumb. their bubble and be like, your entire world and your parents' 401k and like your retirement and all the shit that you've been investing in, your dividends or yeah. derivatives or whatever the fuck it is, it's all based on drug wars for gold, oil. Yeah. You know. And then you put a hate has no home here sign everything's okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's the height of hypocrisy. Yeah, to watch somebody, to watch some overeducated dude try to gentrify a fucking city street, sitting out on his porch playing guitar with two fucking degrees. Yeah, sitting on with a cushy fucking four hundred one k. Yeah, trying to tell me I'm a racist and I don't know how to live my life. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That that shit sends. That's just, that's the shit that'll set me off. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, the all all that shit like the the hardcore virtue single and everything. It's just like, dude, just because you have like an opinion about something doesn't mean like you hate all black people or you hate like whatever. Like you can be like, oh, like you can look at a individual and be like, oh, you're a fucking asshole, and it's not because you inherently hate blacks. It's just because maybe that one's an asshole. I don't know how you got the black people. I was talking. I'm just about, saying like, as an countries. example. Like I'm saying, like these people that chill, you know. They don't mind that Bill Gates goes to the third world and practices shit out on them. Yeah. They don't mind that the third world gets fucking bodied. Yeah. And it's like, if you sacrifice some of your wealth, we wouldn't have to fight these fucking wars. Yeah. But they'll never do it. They hate paying. They'll never do it. They'll, they'll sit there and be like, oh, I want a second car. I want a second home. Yeah. And they'll never like be able to program to the point where they're like, yeah, we don't need the U.S. military to be doing this. And they vote, they endlessly vote in people that will keep pushing this shit. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. Yeah, they keep pushing this lifestyle. America's living not beyond our means. We're just living like fucking dickheads. Dickheads. Well, that's what uh, there. I read something that was saying that like TikTok's obviously just like a Chinese fucking yeah, cesspool. Facial recognition. And <laughs> they're they're paying people big ass money to go on TikTok and do shit. But it's like virtue signaling to the nth degree, and they're pushing like all that like fucking weird shit, like pushing all like the sex and all that shit, and like trying to destabilize America through TikTok, like they've been doing with all the like they bought Hollywood and all that shit. Yeah, there's no you know. Let's make it cool to to sit there and really you really gotta do the work, dude. Yeah. You gotta do like big time psychological work. Because you yourself, as an individual, you have to be strong enough to help other people yes. think about that. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like we're all doing good here. No. So, like, we really have to have some, like, Hercule Herculean shit go yeah. on where, like, somebody can be like, yeah. I mean, dude, look at the fucking how everybody liked Jordan Peterson for a little bit. Yeah. Everybody was, like, super stoked on him. <laughs> and then they all called him a fucking nut or whatever. But... That, uh, the fact that everybody was clicking on that for a minute, yeah, that'll just go to show you that, that that's where people, people need to be headed towards is more psychological development. Yeah. And once you're strong enough, you can bootstrap yourself. You grab the dude next to you who's struggling a little bit, grab him and be like, all right, man, we're, we're fucking programming now. Yeah. That's, that's just shit that just sent like. I get so pissed off when, like, you deal with, like, the bigger, like, even, like, you. Like, if you deal with, like, a bigger construction company that's, like, Generation 4, and they yeah. look at you like, ah, oh, you're a fucking asshole. They try to dick you and not pay you. And that's like, dude, you don't understand that. Your great-grandpa was a fucking, like, min, and he had to suck a dick his entire life just to give his kid a job. 
and his kid sucked a dick into his entire life and started getting nice shit. And then you're on generation three and you're rolling with some money. Like, well, unfortunately, I, like it takes it. It takes you 10 years to figure that out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to really understand the world you're living in takes you so long yeah. of your life where you you're going to have to naturally do that anyway. But it would have helped if we didn't live in a world that was like endless psyops, endless fucking bullshit. Yeah. We could be like calmly just being like, this is the way the world is. Only focus on essential truths. Knock off all the bullshit. Knock off all the propaganda. Yeah. And when you're sitting there doing construction, you would obviously look at a minion and be like, you would relate to that person. You wouldn't be sitting there going like, well, I have tattoos. I have a better truck. I'm a better person. Yeah. That's someone that's fully psyoped. Yeah, they're fucked. I mean, that's exactly what's like. MTV did that. You know, it's not like just a new thing. Yeah. They did that shit. Like, shit's been going on, man. Yeah. I mean, I see it a lot. Like uh, This is the century of the self stuff. Yeah, I gotta finish that fucking movie. Yeah, I see that shit a lot. Just like last summer, all I, all I did was paint every weekend, shit like that. And then I talked to someone who like does the same shit I do, and they're like, "Oh, dude, I'm working on the weekends. I go down the beach." It's like, how are you gonna further your business if every weekend you're getting shit hammered? Then you're fucked Monday. You're kind of feeling a Tuesday. Wednesday rolls around. You're back in the swing of things. So you're getting three good days, but at least you get to black out down whatever beach you're at. Yeah. Uh, people will do that for a while, you know. That's it, party time. It doesn't, yeah. But like, that's that's the main thing that happens. It's promoted though. Oh that's yeah. The, the only problem I have with all that is knock yourself out. You want to do that? Yeah. I don't like how that's promoted over programming. Yeah. Being a strong person. Yeah. Physically and mentally. You're not seeing any of these stories, dude. Nah, there were. I'm um, dealing with some. You're watching units. Jersey Shore in real life. Yeah, I mean that's that's all I see. Just all the dumb shit going on. I'm in, hold on one sec. 